that leads us to last night's debate. You heard Ashley ask you all how many watched. Let's just have a show of hands again and how many people were interested in the debate. Now let me ask you this question. Do the debates impact you or influence how you will vote? Do they give you information that, that's important to you? How many people would say, yes, I get a lot of information from the debates? Wow. How many people would say the debates or the performance of the candidates during the debate would actually sway your opinion or help you make a decision? All right, a few people. Terry, I know that the debates are very important to the candidates and to the press, but are they all that important to the public? Yeah, well, yeah, they're important. They just don't change people's minds. I mean, there have maybe been two debates in our lifetimes, you know, 1960 and one in 1980 that have had a sort of a profound difference on what in changing people's minds, particularly undecided voters. But here's the point. We're two years into a presidential campaign, nine months into a pretty intensive campaign, 21 debates, I think that's what it was, with the Democrats, a lot of them with Senator Clinton and Senator Obama. You'd have to be from Mars not to have a sense about who you're going to vote for by this time. Now, undecided voters are shrinking, 15 percent, maybe 12 percent. And, and there are some, well, I think there are a little more than that, legitimate undecided voters who are genuinely torn. But the vast majority of undecideds are voters that I don't kindly call clueless. They tune in late. They pick up a little bit here and there. And some of them, and you will find this very hard to believe, we can have in American elections, in big elections, 15, 20 percent of the people make up their mind on the last three days. We can have 10 percent of the people make up their mind walking into the booth in some big election. So, but last night, it was a no harm, no foul. I, I was personally very disappointed by it. I think it was dreadful. Uh, the questions from the audience were worse than journalist questions, if that could be possible. And I thought Brokaw at one point lost complete control of the whole debate. And we can do better than that. All the big subjects that we could have been talking about were not talked about. And it was like debate two with the same, with different format, same subject matter. And except for that one, the, the gentleman's questionnaire, maybe the most important question about the debate last night, did McCain take us off in a new direction? Uh, there you have it. But you're missing something here. In my view, people's questions were better than journalists' questions. The, the last question of the debate was, what don't you know? I thought that was pretty interesting. Everybody says, what do you know? What don't you know? An hour and, and a half, one question. All right, wait, wait a second. <laughs> one, then one of the people said something about uh, taxes, uh -oh. and I thought it was very direct. The only p difference was is that the people who were there were, were kind of wooden and nervous, and they weren't given the option, like Linwood on a show, of saying, oh, what do you mean by that, yeah. okay? I mean, because, you know, you sit at home, and you're watching it. I'm taking notes last night and looking at this thing, and I'm saying, this thing cries out for follow-ups, you know? And, and Gwen Eiffel and, and Tom Brokaw, I thought, looked very uncomfortable there last night. I don't know what the problem right. was. He right. just looked like somebody from the 1940s doing a debate. And, and honestly, I, I was very disappointed in it. Well, no, let me, I know you want to go to another question, so let me just be succinct. This is my, or this, I, I've been through, through two presidential uh, debates as an insider staffer back in 2000 and 2004. And what you want to do going into a debate, if you're the candidate, is to do no harm. You don't want to make any news, you don't want to make any gaffes, and you want to stick to the script. And to the extent that you stick to the script, you know exactly what the outcome is going to be. Going back to Terry's point is because knowing going into this debate, 99.9%, I'm not a pollster, but this is what we would always say, tell to the president and, and, and the governor when he was running in 2000, 99.9% .9 of the people have already made up their mind going into, into this debate. Your only audience right, right now is the press. It's because they're looking at you to see if you're going to make a major gaffe. They want you to see if, in fact, you're going to yeah, but yes and no <sighs> sigh if you're 2000 and Al Gore. Hold so on. the point, I mean, hold on one second, Terry. So the point is, to the extent that you can be, is that you want to make sure that you stay calm, you stay collected, and that you do no harm. Terry? But if you can't, but wait a second. You can't, <laughs> you can't do no harm if you're behind. Oh, now he's if, just if, if you're behind, like John McCain is right now in electoral votes, you got to get some action going. You got to try to savage the guy. You got to try to. Not if you're, not if you're a 72 year old person that is perceived to be senile and somewhat off your rocker. You don't. That's not how you do. Well, that's is, not, he? is he? Well, Terry. Hold, no, 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 no. As you can, as you can tell, we know each other well. We've been doing this. 
But here, but, but uh, Larry, here, Larry's right, and here's the problem. The convention ends, and we've got McCain with a slight national lead. He's up in many of the ba battleground straits. You got that? Okay, we have two big events that changed this election that may have changed it for good. One, Barack Obama's performance in the first debate. It was a kind of Kennedy moment. He stood up there, Larry's point, in command, unflappable, cool. You all got that? And people looked at him, given the economy, they don't want to vote for a Republican this year. And McCain's problem is 55% of the voters say he'll continue the policies of President Bush on the economy. Well, if 80 to 90% of us say the country's moving in the wrong direction, duh, they're unsatisfied with the way things are, duh, and the candidate running on the, his, the Republican ticket, the voters say is going to continue the same policies, that's not a recipe to get yourself elected. And so, then the next one was the, the, the other business of going to Washington and settling the deal and then having the House Republicans spit in his face and then the debate's on. So you know what happened in two weeks? A close election turned into about a five or six point national lead for Senator Obama. And in our state, as we sit here, a 10 to 12 point lead for Senator Obama. McCain needs a game changer. It just isn't playing it safe. He needs a game changer if he's going to get back into this election. I don't disagree with that, but you don't do that on national TV in, in a debate. E except perhaps maybe to make a quote unquote gaffe yeah. and to make somewhat slight news, which, which he did. Thank you.